Meanwhile, the case of former UC officer Ray Tensing is leading to big changes at the school. He's charged with murdering Samuel DeBose last month during a traffic stop. Now, the police department has new leadership, and they want answers about the large <clears> increase <throat> in traffic stops by University of Cincinnati police just this year. Jordan Burgess is live with why the department's chief says he's horrified by these numbers. Jordan? Right now, UC police have been banned by the city for making any traffic stops off campus here. And UC's police chief admitted to us today that he didn't realize how bad some of the numbers looked. I was horrified. Yeah, uh, the, the, uh, that, that number was, is not acceptable. UC's police chief Jason Goodrich talks about the high percentage of black drivers stopped by his department this year, a number he says he wasn't aware of until after Samuel DuBose was shot and killed by Officer Ray Tensing during a traffic stop. Currently, we don't have a good way to track that. We don't have good metrics. Again, that's something I've been working on trying to get in place. Uh, we just haven't got there yet. According to numbers talked about at a city council meeting, UC police were on pace to make five times more traffic stops this year than in 2012. Goodrich says some of that had to do with having more officers patrol more territory, but says it's still something they'll have to examine. Part of the top to bottom review is to look at are the supervisors enforcing this? Is this balance what we're looking at? Do we have a few officers who are pushing the envelope? Where are we at? We just don't have the answer to that yet. Goodrich talked about the increase in stops as the university introduced two new directors. Former Cincinnati Assistant Police Chief James Whalen will be safety director, and the former head of the Cincinnati Initiative to Reduce Violence, Gregory Baker, will be in charge of police community relations. Even as they look at changing some of the department's practices, Goodrich believes it won't have a negative impact on student safety. You will continue to see a decrease in crime. Now, UC police still make traffic stops on campus, and they're also allowed to do off-campus walking patrols. Students come back in two weeks. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 9 on your side.